Seven things you probably didn't know, you need to know. I'm Jamie East and this, this is the Smart 7. Good morning everybody, it's Monday the 8th of June and happy World Ocean Day. And a big happy birthday to Kanye West, Juliana Margulis and Mick Hucknall. Seven. As the Black Lives Matter protests continued across the weekend in the UK and US, politicians came under pressure to tackle racism in the UK. Matt Lavish Holiday's Hancock really struggled on both the BBC and Sky News Sunday morning shows to answer the simple question, why aren't there more or any black people in cabinet? The cabinets that I've, the two cabinets I've sat in uh, with uh, Boris Johnson as Prime Minister are the two most diverse cabinets I've ever sat in. Um, and, uh, you know, right at the top of government, I- including in the great offices of state, people from black and minority ethnic backgrounds, Kwasi Kwarteng was sitting around the cabinet table uh, with me. Um, it, so, a- actually, I think that... Bo- well, I think that Boris Johnson has got a very good record on this, uh, and it brings people in and listens to a diversity of, of views. And it's diversity of thought that's the really important thing when you're taking those big... Uh, decisions around the cabinet table. Six. In the US, protests continued in a peaceful manner across multiple cities all weekend. A memorial for George Floyd took place, and longtime activist and preacher Reverend Al Sharpton gave a powerful eulogy. Man comes out of a single parent home, educates himself, and rises up and becomes the president of the United States. And you ask him for his birth certificate because you can't take your knee off our neck. The reason why we're marching all over the world is we were like George. We couldn't breathe, not because there was something wrong with our lungs, but you wouldn't take your knee off our neck. We don't want no favors. Just get up off of us and we can be and do whatever we can be. There were plenty of protests in the UK, including several in London, where Madonna turned up on crutches and boxer Anthony Joshua spoke in Watford. Today we join many thousands of protesters in the UK and many hundreds of thousands across the globe. We stand united against the virus that has been instrumental in taking lives. Lives of the young, old, rich and even poor. A virus that is not apologetic, a virus that spreads across all sectors of our communities, sports, education, churches, entertainment, the media and even the government. Not just in the UK, but across the world. The virus has been declared a pandemic. It is out of control. And I'm not actually talking about COVID-19. The virus I'm referring to is called racism. The crowd in Bristol took action and toppled, then dumped in the river, a statue of slave trader Edward Colston. Boy, it really annoyed Pretty Patel. Well, I think that is utterly disgraceful, and that speaks to the acts of disorder, public disorder, that actually have now become a distraction from the cause in which people are actually, actually protesting about. And kudos to the London protester who did this as the heavily armed police walked past. <laughs> Coronavirus cases are continuing to rise across the world with the global cases now over 7 million and over 400,000 reported deaths. Russia, Brazil and the United States are all still struggling to get the virus under control and the World Health Organization has updated its advice on masks. In light of evolving evidence, WHO advises that governments should encourage the general public to wear masks where there is widespread transmission and physical distancing is difficult. Sport is gradually coming back, largely in front of empty stadiums, but over the weekend the UFC held an event and horse racing and snooker have also returned. Premier League teams are in full training now and have started playing friendlies in preparation for the restart of the season on the 17th of June. Ryan Giggs spoke to Sky Sports about Man United and their January signing, Bruno Fernandes. It's early doors um, to be talking about you know, the, the players that have come in and made an impact, but certainly it's been off to a great start. And 
Um, you're right, he's made players around him better and he's just fitted in straight away, which is always what you pray for when a new signing comes in. And he looks a good guy as well. Yeah, I mean, he looks like he wants to play for Man United. Um, he's a Man United player in respect that he receives the ball, he's exciting, he'll try things. If he doesn't come off, he'll try it again. And he's brilliant to watch. This weekend saw another celebrity goggle box with a wide-ranging cast including Bez and Sean Ryder and a row with Eamon Holmes over a clip they decided to edit. Here's a bit with the Kemps as they watch Take That in concert. Take it away, Roman Kemp of Capital Breakfast and his dad Martin Kemp of Spandau Ballet fame. You take that fan? Uh, I like Take That. Do you know what I don't like? Is that some people say, Take That. What do you mean? They call Take That, Take That. There's not a lot of difference in that, right? Yes, there is. Take That. Take that. You wouldn't say, you wouldn't say, what I'd say to you, what band is this? You'd say, take that. Yeah. But then say, say it to me. What band is this? Take that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see the difference. You got a problem. And finally, if you're missing live music, the Blossoms popped up over the weekend to perform a cover that they usually close their live shows with. Here's an acoustic version of Baby Bird's You're Gorgeous. This has been the Smart Set. We've got an Alexa skill now. All you've got to do is enable us and then just say, Alexa, play the Smart 7. We're back tomorrow at 7. Please like and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. All of television history is contained within the box of delights. It was happening in front of us. Incredible. In our living rooms. It was amazing. Guests pick their favourite television moment and tell us why they love it. And is this the episode where Daisy's just been for the interview at the Women's Magazine? Flaps. That's it, Flaps. Yeah. Named one of Radio Time's best podcasts of the year. I don't understand people who don't see the joy in drawing the curtains, mug of hot chocolate and something nice on TV. Like, what could be nicer than that? Than having a snuggle. Exactly. Nostalgia in bite-sized chunks. Box of Delights from Great Big Owl.